Uh, today we'll see that how can we download dev C++ ID for C++. Install it and make a first hello world program in C++. So first of all, go to Google, type dev space C++ free download, press enter. And you will see the first link here, sourceforge.net. Click on the link. See here, this is download. So click on download. It will start in 4 5 seconds. You can download it wherever you want. I will download in my download folder. Press OK. Save. And the size of this file is 48.1 MB. And for me, with my speed, it is taking 2 minutes. So, I think I should pause the video. By the time I will download it. And then come back to you. When it's downloaded. Now as you can see the file is downloaded. You can directly click on this file to start the installation or go to download folder and then click on this file dev cpp 5.11. This is the current version now and this is setup of this file. So click on this. So this will appear. So click yes. So it's basically showing the things here. Uh, I think I should hide the desktop so that you can easily see the files. Uh, okay. Click on English, press OK, and then click on I agree, then next, and this is the path. So click install. It is extracting the files. Okay, now files are copied and uh, the installation is completed. Now you can click run dev C++ 5.11 and click on finish. So it will run dev C++. For the first time, you will find this. Just click on next. Again, next. Press OK. And this is the ID. So, what we are going to do now, we will make a new file. So, go to file first. Click on new source file, or you can use the control N shortcut key. And I'm going to start writing my first code. Hello world program hash include. I'm going to increase the size of this one so that uh, it will be easy for you. Uh, I will go to tools, editor options, and uh, in the editor options, select font. I will increase the size something like 16 or rather 18, or make it 20 so that it, because the program is short. Press OK, so it will be bigger now. Hash include IO stream, then using name space std semicolon integer main, and then C out and hello world. And return zero. Now we'll compile it. So it's asking to save the files. I'm going to save it on desktop and name it hello H E double L O. So that's a file. And now you can see that it is compiled. And 
there is no error, zero errors and zero warnings. So I can run it now. You can use a shortcut F9 and to run F10. So I'm going to use F10 now and see here you can see hello world is there. Hello world, this is a printer. So this is our first program. As you can see, first of all, we include a library IO stream. This library is used to get uh, these commands so that you can use these commands in your program input output commands and then we use using namespace std this keyword basically this is a class so we have to use it again again like this so in place of writing this again and again we will use namespace std so we can use it without std then our main function starts and uh, this is our code c out then these two signs and then inverted commas hello world and then in the end semicolon and return zero that this is the sign that the program is going to and basically it is the uh, value this function main function is going to return in further classes we'll see that what is return zero for the timing that is uh, the ba basic hello world program in case if you have any difficulty let me know thanks thank you much bye